Hi again everyone, Philip here. I've been getting some questions about accounts on the Reef Chain, so I've decided to make a quick tutorial explaining what accounts in the Reef Chain are, how you can create one, and what you can do with it. An account on the Reef Chain is basically an array of letters and numbers called an address, which is unique for every user. It has a public key that is publicly available and a private key which only you should ever know and not share with anyone. If someone has access to your private key, they can take control of your account and empty your funds. The public key or address is your unique identifier which you can use to receive funds and more. Now let's talk about how you can create such an account on the Rift chain. There are two easy ways you can do that. The first is directly through the console app and the other is through a browser extension called polka.js. I will put a link in the description for the extension. Let's start with the console app. Once you open console.reefscan.com, click on the accounts dropdown and select accounts. This screen lists all the accounts you have, either created from the console or injected from the Polkadot extension. Next, click on add account. Once the model opens, we can see a few things. The uppermost text that starts with 5G and looks like a bunch of random characters and numbers is your account address. This is the public address you use when you want to receive a reef from someone. Next is the mnemonic seed section. This is a sequence of randomly generated words which your account's private key will be derived from. You need to store this sequence somewhere safe where only you can access it. It is very, very important that you do not share this sequence with anyone. If someone had this sequence, they could take all your funds. Be very aware of scammers who might act like customer support and ask for your mnemonic seed. Never ever give it away. No one from Reef will ever ask you for your mnemonic under any circumstances. We've had actually a couple of users fall victim to this type of scam and unfortunately, if you give your mnemonic seed to anyone, there's nothing we can do about it. So I can't stress it enough, keep this safe. Okay, now that you've safely stored the mnemonic, select the checkbox and click next. Input a name for your account and a password. The password is used to encrypt your private key, so make it strong. If you lose your account for some reason, you can recover it using this password. It is also used for signing transactions such as sending reef, bonding, nominating and staking. So let's add the required data and then click next. Once you click next, on the final screen, you just need to click save. Clicking save will create your account and generate a backup file, which you can use to restore your account. And that's it! You now have a non-external account on the Reef chain. You can send, receive, stake and nominate with it by using your public key and the password you've just entered to sign these transactions. Inside the list, you can see your name, the type, tags and number of transactions you've made as well as balances. The type is SR25519, which just means that it is the cryptography protocol used to generate the private key. Now we will see the other and arguably more safe method of creating and injecting an account directly through the Polkadot extension. For this, you will need the Polkadot extension. I'll put a link in the description so you can download it. Once you've downloaded and installed this extension to your browser, you can start creating your account. Open the Polkadot extension and click on the plus sign and select create an account. The sequence is very similar to what we did before. You have your public key and the mnemonic seed. Again, store it safely. Once you've done that, select the checkbox and click next. Now you can select where you'd like to use this account. Click on the drop down and select Reef Mainnet. Add a name and a password. That's it! The account is created and you can go to console.reefscan.com to view and interact with it. There we go. You will also notice that the type now says injected. That means that the console interacts with the Polkadot extension successfully and can read your account from there. 
The Polkadot extension also acts as a signer, meaning that every time you perform a transaction, such as sending Reef to another account, the extension will prompt you for your password and in turn it will sign that transaction with your private key. If the account is not injected and you've created it directly from the console, the console itself will prompt you for your password and sign the transaction. Lastly, I would like to tell you about the concept of controller and stash accounts. When you want to make a transaction on the Reef chain, you will need to select which account to sign this transaction from. The controller account is somewhat exposed to the chain and it is the account which you would use to submit any manual extrinsics. For example, you would use the controller account to nominate a validator. The controller account should have some reef on it, enough to perform the action and pay the fees, but never a lot, and certainly not your whole stash of reef. In turn, the stash account is the account that will act as a cold wallet. This should be a very safe and protected account, maybe existing only on a piece of paper or some hardware. It should never be exposed online or used to submit extrinsics. This is the account that will hold a large amount of funds. Think of it as a savings account in a bank. You should almost never touch it except for the most urgent of situations. Hope this helped you understand a bit about accounts and how not to share your seed with anyone. See you in the next tutorial. Stay safe guys.